And, and these are insecure. And like, this is the thing, like when people talk about your inner child and they talk about healing the little version of you, that little version of you really still is there. Because somebody brings up something to, that that happened to you when you were three, that harmed you, that hurt you when you were three, you are three again. That three-year-old version of you is brought up front and center. And it's like, if that person doesn't feel safe, if they don't, if the most weakest, helpless version of you doesn't feel safe in your own, in your own space, in your own presence, you're never going to feel safe. You're never going to feel safe outside. Like in in the midst of other people, you're going to feel insecure. You're going to feel scared. You're going to feel lonely. You're not going to feel safe. And it's like you have to turn your body, like you have to turn your aura, you have to turn your you, your, your space, your being, your skin, your cells. Like you have to turn that into your safe space. And a lot of that is just, oh my God, at the end of the day, it just comes down to forgiving yourself. It just comes down to forgiving yourself for the simple, small mistakes and just reminding yourself that they are simple and small mistakes all of the time. Like the things that you say bad, like I keep saying bad things, but the things that you negative self talk about, what are they? It's uh, girl, you didn't just like kill somebody. You didn't do that. Okay. You did it. Like it's, you made a mistake. You screwed up. You, you like things that do not matter that do not freaking matter. Like we're going to move on from this, but things that do not matter. And I will tell you so little matters. There's not a lot in this world that really matters. If we're going to get into it, nothing matters. Okay. So being in your healthy family, what does that look like? Being in your healthy family, you got strong boundaries. And having strong boundaries is it's just knowing who you are. It's knowing what goes against your morals. It's not trying to press and implement your own beliefs into others. Saying, you can't do that to me. Having strong boundaries is saying, I will not allow you to do that to me because people going to do what they going to do. If people going to do one thing, honey, is try you. All right. But you have to know that you, oh, baby, you think I'm going to sit here while you try me? You can try that, but it ain't going to work because when you come back around to yell at me, I ain't going to be here. So who the fuck you finna yell at? Because I know damn sure it ain't me. All right. I got into an argument with somebody. Listen, my country ass ain't finna stay for a while. Y'all, I got into an argument with somebody. They was yelling, slamming doors, all types of crazy hooligan shit. Okay? If I'm not letting my own mama yell at me, you think I'm finna let you yell at me? I just met you. That lady carried me for nine months, almost ten. I was a late starter, okay? Almost ten. And... You know, she fed me and take care of me my whole life. And I'm going to let her yell at me. You think I'm going to let you, a stranger, an acquaintance, yell at me? Honey, you must not know. I'm not the one. So you finna walk out on me and think that when you walk back in, I'm going to be there for you to yell at. Darling, that's crazy. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm in my motor vehicle and I am gone. Okay. So that's what having boundaries means. It's knowing what you're not going to stand for and, and, and protecting yourself and protecting your fucking peace. All right. Thank you. So next part of that. Got to unlock my phone. Being loving and supportive, okay? And I mean the real kind of support. I don't mean no type of gatekeeping. You only support when you want to. I mean, it's really supporting people and supporting your friends and your family and the people that you love. Listen, never in my life, I'm really a dump him kind of girl. I'm really a dump him kind of girl at my core. But as I've grown older, I realized that dump him, It's not the best way to go about things because 
and I know this is controversial. I know it's controversial. But if you have a friend and they're on and off and on and off with their <laughs> If you have a friend and they're on and off and on and off with their man, after about the third time, set some boundaries about, hey girl, you really making me hurt, hate this, this, this echo, okay? You're really making me not like them because you come to me every time y'all fight. I get it. Fighting is a natural part of life. But unless they are gaslighting you, putting their hands on you, emotionally abusing you, emotionally manipulating you, any of that stuff, don't come to me, please. Do not. Because it is making me feel hateful towards this person. Okay? And I know you guys are going to go on and off and on and off. And I will support you every step of the way. Just don't tell me when it happens. Okay? I had had to be that person because I realized that dump him is a shitty piece of advice and it will make somebody not come to you with their relationship issues, which I think for me, to me, is kind of a dangerous thing because you want to create a safe space and yes, protect your peace. It is such a headache to hear, but your friends need to know that in your family needs to know that when it comes down to it, if they need you, they need you being like, listen, I don't, I don't, don't tell me about that man. No more. Like saying that is very aggressive and like wrong. And I'm using this example because I think it's a great example. It's very aggressive and wrong. So you have to be like, Hey girl, I know he gets on your nerves. I know you love him. You guys break up and get back together all the time. Unless some real crazy stuff is going on and like you can vent, go ahead, feel free to vent girl, but just don't get me involved when y'all break up and, and fall out and get back together and all of that. I'm always here to support you and what you need. Okay. But just, you you don't gotta tell me every time girl, like just give me the season recap. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that they kind of stop telling you so much, but also if it really comes down to a real emergency, they know that they can still go to you. That's the one thing I realized because, oh my God, there is always boy drama. And like, and that has been something that I really had to learn how to navigate. Cause I was like, my single bitter ass is over here and y'all want to tell me every time y'all fuck. And then every time y'all break up, please don't come to me unless some crazy shit really happening and you really need my help. Oh my God, because as of right now, I'm about to start a prayer circle around you, child. Leave me alone. So yeah, so that like being loving and supporting and like actually meaning it, okay? And like when you say you support girls, you support all the girls and not just girls that you think are pretty or that can get you somewhere. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all really are confused about what it means to be loving and supportive. A lot of y'all think being supportive is just showing up for people who you want a favor from them in the long run no show up for me because you believe in me because you like me because you don't expect anything in return you really don't like really mean that shit and stand on that shit don't just oh yeah yeah like oh my god see how this works like when I'm here for them and like as they get to know me like they're gonna pull me into like their business venture but 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 that's not a friendship. That's a business relationship. Stop. Um, receptive and confidence in her body. Do not walk into a room with your head down and your phone out. Looking at your phone. That's what you're not going to do. No. When you walk into a room, head high. Mm, that is a confident lady. You are, uh, titties to the sky, girl. Head high. Okay, you walk, yeah, you don't see my hand right now, but she extra like, oof, 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 like hand is giving, uh, okay. You walk into the room, shoulders back. Maybe even give me a little hair flip, okay. Do a little, a zhuzh, you know what I'm saying? You walk into the room. Okay, you take in your surroundings. And you know why this is important? Because you never know who you're going to lock eyes with, okay? Walking into the room with your head held high, your eyes open, taking in your surroundings. Okay? You never know who you're going to lock eyes with. But also, let me tell you something. You just became the most confident, sexiest bitch 
in the space. Because I should you not, everybody's going to stop and look at you. And then you just saunter off to where you're supposed to be. Okay. I'm not going to tell you that shit twice. All right. Intuitive and creative. Trusting yourself. Trusting yourself. Y'all, listen. When I don't want to leave my house, I don't leave my house. I've been told y'all that. But I watched a TikTok the other day where this girl, she was like, I don't know. Y'all probably saw that TikTok where those girls was like, um, didn't go to the party. The friend is up dancing, went to the party, and her one friend is in a wheelchair and the other one got shot in the arm. Y'all, mm, it's my aunt. I don't want to pick up. She's really annoying. Anyways, um... Sent that ass to voicemail. So these this girl was talking about how um, she actually didn't want to go to this party. She didn't feel like going to the party. Like, she didn't feel like going to it. Her friend didn't feel like going to it. They both were like the vibes were a little eh that day. And they didn't really feel like going to the party. They went to the party, girl. She got shot in the back. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition knows better. I always say this and I don't remember who said it, but they say that your intuition and your gut feeling is the you in your future trying to warn you. Okay. It is your future. You trying to warn you of something that's happened. Okay. It is regret from the future manifesting as fear in the present. That was so good. Um, okay. And then being in your healthy feminine what we just talked about early on see enjoying the process of creation that can mean so many things but at its core it means enjoying the things that you are doing now enjoying everything taking the stress out of life not thinking about what's to come it's not thinking about oh can doing this thing make me money this thing will fix my life no it's doing this thing right now because I want to do this thing right now and because I think I'll enjoy doing this thing right now and no other reason is about to go out um the last part of this is Okay, being in your healthy feminine, which is so on point, being able to relate to others by listening, sharing, and creating a community. Okay, you being here tells me what I need to know, that I am living in my healthy feminine, that I did so much work to get here. And I'm so proud of myself for being here. I have had such a blessed, lucky week, month, year. Even the times when it didn't quite feel like it. Um, but it is. And I, I'm really feeling like a child of God. Like a really ch- a child of God at this moment. And honestly if you've been here for the last year thank you so much I love you so much like it's been a year and and I feel so lucky that like this is turning into different avenues where I've got merch coming out and I'm so excited and it's actually merch that I'm proud of bitch I've been wearing that shit okay I've been wearing that shit in my house I've been wearing it when I go out like I'm like yeah this shit cute I know you like it where can you get it oh it's not out yet sorry (laughs) so And, you know, living in my healthy feminine has allowed me to feel more comfortable with being single, with being alone, with, you know, when my friendships don't work out, when things don't go my way, I am okay because I know that it is not the end of the freaking world. Like, and that is so important to remember. Like, everything will work out in the end. And if it doesn't, then it ain't the end, girl. So, like, we got this, bitch. Like, we really got this shit. Like, this life shit, too easy. Too easy. Okay? Fast forward to next week. I am on camera crying. 
Um, there might not be an episode next week. I'm gonna let you know that right now. There might not be an episode next week because I waited until the very, 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 very last second to get myself ready to go to New York. And it's not just like a, oh, yay, trip I have to pack. Like, I was supposed to, like, buy specific stuff. And I'm so disorganized that, like, now I'm buying the stuff, but I'm having to ship it to my friend's house where I'm staying. And it's just... It's not my finest moment. I'm going to be really honest with you. It's not my finest moment. Um, but yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, cause I know that I'm going to have a great time next week. I know that I'm going to have a good time. I know it's going to be fun. Fingers crossed. I'm actually really nervous. Let's talk about this for a second. Okay. I'm actually really nervous about this trip. Hold on. Um, I'm actually really nervous about this trip and I don't, I know why, but I'm like, do I want to share? I'm actually nervous about this trip because I'm seeing somebody that I haven't seen in a while and like a like somebody I used to have like a romantic interest in and I just I'm just a little nervous like but it's not like nervous like you know I shouldn't go it's like I don't want to go because like I suddenly don't want to see them anymore because like I'm scared um it's like fear but it's like that fear that you need to like walk through and like live your life and like get it done anyways literally the other day like I was thinking like oh my god I'm literally think I'm gonna cancel my trip because I did not want to see them and then I had therapy and my therapist was like what is wrong with you and I was like girl please like I'm just like not in the space to like I'm having a really good time I'm having a great time and I'm just like I don't want to ruin it by seeing this person because and then I'm like asking myself I'm like do you have expectations do you have expectations be honest bitch do you have expectations hmm and I the answer is a big fat no but you know I'd be lying to myself and sometimes I'm lying to myself like so much that I don't even know that I'm lying to myself like I'm literally like hypnotized by myself does that make sense but I'm like I don't want to be lying to myself you know and I'm just like no I don't have any expectations like I really don't and I'm like but what are you gonna do if this happens or this happens or this happens and I'm like well I ain't got no expectations so if all of that shit happens I will be okay like you know so anyways um but yeah um thank you for listening to my podcast i'm so hungry thank you for listening to my podcast it means a lot to me i love you all so much like you guys really are like my community you're my friends like i love you and i wish i could like hug you why am i getting emotional anyways um if you're listening on youtube go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that notification bell and if you're listening on spotify or apple music or apple podcast go ahead and leave a rating and a review thank you um but yeah not the outro you're used to but an outro nevertheless okay i love you darling i hope you have a wonderful week i hope you get a lot of rest okay i need a lot of rest i hope you have a good time i hope you feel loved i hope you feel celebrated i hope you get a lot of hugs and kisses um and if you don't here's at least one kiss I love you very much. Goodbye.